I'm Joe Emerson. I'm the Director of Planning for Henrico County and I'm standing on the site of the future Green City. What I would like to emphasize to everyone, while there's been a lot of media coverage, there's a lot of excitement about this project, because it is a very exciting project, it is just at its beginning. Green City has to go through a full development proposal for an urban mixed use. And that means that there will be many impact statements, traffic analyses, student analyses, fiscal impact analyses that have to be submitted to the county along with the overall land use plans and design. Now once those are formally submitted to the county, a review process begins and that takes anywhere from three to six months where all the agencies of the county and the Virginia Department of Transportation will be reviewing and commenting on the plans submitted. We look at all the impacts from schools to traffic to financial and also the land uses of course are very important and then that is all processed. It goes through public meetings and public hearings for public comment and decisions and deliberation by the Planning Commission and the Board of Supervisors. And then after that if it receives a positive endorsement from the Board of Supervisors then you have the engineering type planning that occurs in terms of being able to plan for the earth moving and different things like that. That takes another anywhere from four to six months. So from time of submission to actual time of earth moving, you're looking at approximately 12 to 14 months before the first shovel of earth will turn ground. This project is a little different in the fact that there's an existing building here that the developer is planning to renovate. So you may see activity on the existing building sooner in the process because they can do that in a, in a much simpler fashion because the building exists and the zoning allows for this building. The rest of the development plan does have to go through the process as I just described. Our urban mixed use allows the mixing of all types of uses except for industrial. So you will see a mixture of, of course they have the arena proposed, you'll have residential housing, you'll have businesses, you'll have office. So over the entirety of the property you'll see a full mixed development. Not dissimilar to some of the other ones that we have in the county such as Libby Mill, West Broad Village, Rockets Landing. So we this isn't new to us. This is a large mixed-use project, but it isn't new to us. But overall, this is a very special property. The Best Products building is very historic in terms of, of its history and, and how it was designed. Again, this, uh, this project will be done with an environmental approach, which is new to the county and, and very new across the United States. So I think that is very exciting. And then as development, has moved from west to east. I think this is a big step in, in that process. Currently within this vicinity and within the Fairfield District, you have Virginia Center Commons reinventing itself. You have this property coming in as Green City. So development is, is moving east in the county in a very exciting way. I think this project will spur many, many benefits to the county that we will see over the next 30 years probably.